Casas coming to you from my home studio in Sun City, Arizona. And today I'm coming to you with a little improvised piece that I'm calling Organ Bop with an exclamation mark. Organ Bop. And so I'm using the Dale Mathis edition of the Roland FR4X and I have recreated all of the organ sounds on the turn on set for the Dale Mathis edition of this accordion and uh, while Roland Factory has a few nice voices on them they've got them in the wrong place <laughs> so I've reshaped and refocused this whole thing so in this piece that I played today I'm just going to take you into the accordion and show you what I've done so let's bring the camera down okay so in uh, these seven registers You've got an AB switch, and when you hit the B section, this little red light is going to appear up here, so you know you're in the B section. And in the B section is where I put all of the percussion sounds. So a percussion sound is this. So you hear that there's an attack to it, and then it dies away. So unless you're playing a boppy little song like this one, or like the Alley Cat song, those percussion sounds generally, and again, this is this is comes to knowing your customer. Most of the folks that I sell an instrument to are not overly fond of that sound they are more likely looking for a lush Hammond organ sound. So those sounds are what I have placed on the instrument when it is first turned on. So let's show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to use the AB switch here. And now, once I've hit that, now the front or the first seven, uh, the ones in the white letters, they are playing. So when you hit register one, Very different than that boppy de boppity sound. Register two. More of the same, but with a um, little different tonality. Here's register three. For you who are familiar with ham and organs, that would be pulling out more of the black draw bars, like the five and a third and two and two thirds with that sound. Register number four, that's actually the Hammond uh, solo vox sound. You know, the sound that, that Frankie Enkovic used way back in the 1940s. Well, I've created that on this instrument. And so again, no boppity boppity. When you're playing a polka, you don't want boppity boppity. You want the Frankie Enkovic sound. So that's where it is. It's on register number four. So I'll just do a little example of that. We'll put the accordion back on. And so let's see, maybe some, some sort of a, a Yankovic style waltz. Let's put this sound on. And then when you wanted the organ sound, yeah, you wanted that all set up for you. So you didn't want to have to, well, from Roland you can't even get that sound, I had to create it. But anyhow, all of these sounds are very usable, again, for my typical customer. So let's continue on with the demo here. So we were at register number four. Let's go to number five. Now here, you hear in this one, there's no tremolo. It's just the slow scanning sound, like a slow uh, revolving Leslie horn. But if you hit the register a second time, then the tremolo comes in. You can slow it down again by just hitting it again. So you might use that sound for um, You know, uh, in hymns, uh, typically you don't want a lot of tremolo 
And the reason is because if people are trying to sing along with you, uh, they want to be able to hear the true pitch, not this warbling stuff going on, so then they can't quite tell where the pitch of the song is. So when you're, if you are doing sing-along stuff, uh, like at your church or whatever, um, you might want to bear that in mind. Is that a sound like this? is a better choice than having the tremolo going like this. Now that's very pleasant to listen to, but it's more difficult to sing to. All right, so let's go to register number six. Again, slow Leslie sound. But if you want the fast Leslie, just hit it. Number seven. And then if we go back to the B section, that's where you're going to find all those percussive sounds. Uh, there's a nice mellow one on register eight here. that gives you some insight into the thinking behind all of the registration programming that I did, Dale Mathis, on the Dale Mathis edition of the Roland FR4X, which is only available one place in the entire world, and that is at Kraft Music out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They have these instruments in stock in both black and red, and it comes with all of the Dale Mathis special programming including all these special organ sounds and the Dale Mathis after purchase support. So if you're ready for your own, give the guys at Kraft Music a phone call. If you need more information about the Dale Mathis programming and uh, just Dale Mathis information in general, go to my website, dalemathisaccordion.com. And again, I do not sell any programming. So if you have purchased an instrument, a roll, an instrument from some other source, uh, I can't help you. Uh, I only work with the folks who have purchased their instrument from Kraft. So thanks so much for watching, and uh, here's a second playing of the organ bop. See you later.